Welcome back, you beautiful people, and welcome to somewhere really different, not the woods. We're in a skate park where it is woody, but there's a place like this you can learn a lot of valuable skills in a closed environment, out the weather, because it's winter, and you come indoors and start to learn different, different techniques for riding that you can convert to going out onto the trail. Yes, this first one is flow. You can learn a lot in a skate park, especially on a little box section like this, a rhythm section. Flow is key in a skate park because there's loads of sharp edges and you don't really want to start casing them because you're going to lose your flow, you're going to lose your speed. On a section like this, you can just roll through, obviously because there's tabletops, there's no gaps, nothing's going to jump out at you and uh, sting you in the bum. Just learn to pump, roll, Keep your momentum, keep your rhythm, keep your flow. There we go. Let's get into it. I actually quite like it. It's really fun. But there's one thing to take into consideration is that skate parks are very intimidating because there's features in yeah that you don't really ride or you've never ridden before. So start off small. There's smaller stuff just over there in the street section. Uh, there's just little undulations like this. Banks you can roll in and just get used to your bike. Get used to the skate park. Yes, over here. This next one is tricks to learn in the skate park. Well, when I mean tricks, I mean small tricks, beginner tricks. Get used to your bike, get used to taking your limbs off your, your bike. Get comfortable. You don't actually need to take your hands off or anything. You can learn jumping, that's a trick in itself. Or you can learn your whips, just get them out, you can land sideways. Now this right here is a little fly out with a, with a flat deck, so there's no gaps you need to worry about or anything like that. It's a safe environment to learn. Basic tricks to learn in a skate park. First off is the one hat. Take your hand off, doesn't matter if it's a little bit off, or if it's massive. As long as your hand comes off, it's a one-hander. The next one is a one-footer. Lift your foot off the pedal in the air and put it back on. But the thing is, with doing it on a step up, just like that one, a fly out, you can just land one-footed because you're not going really high. You're just basically learning the skills, you're learning the, learning the technique on all these tricks. The another one is a bit more advanced. It's a no-footer. You can do that one as well. It's a pretty good one, and it's, a, it's an easy one to get out of especially on a small thing just like that. The other, more advanced, a 180, but you can start doing 90 and start just progressing it, increasing the, uh, the, the rotation of the spin and start to learn it. And the, after that is the 180 rollback, the 181 fake, uh, fakie, and I struggle with that one. For me, I need to learn my fakies because I really struggle with them. So this is a perfect place to do it, land backwards, 180, I'm learning my 180, and I'm riding backwards. So let's do a few stunts. Uh, this next one is bike time. And that's just having fun on your bike, just riding it as much as possible in a skate park because you learn so much when you're just having fun and you're not kind of fixated on trying to perfect one thing constantly because you're just wasting time doing it. Unless it's a big trick, then that's a different story. Then you need to constantly do it so you learn from your mistakes. But if you're not and you come to a skate park, bike time. Just ride what you can within your, within your limits. You just have as much fun as possible. And also, when you do it with mates, because you can have a little, a little session, you can set challenges, for example, and just have an absolute hoot trying to nail that challenge. So I've got someone, I've got a mate, Neil's over there. We're gonna set a few challenges. He's on a BMX today, because uh, he hasn't got a bike, and uh, I'm on my mountain bike, so let's have some fun. Neil, hey, big boy pants now. <laughs> I reckon uh, challenge, try and clear all of them, Neil. Yeah. I reckon you've got it. Scariest bit is dropping in, and you know when they're like the coping's just oh. overhanging? 
Yeah. Uh, Don't drag your front wheel. And <laughs> <laughs> Try not. <laughs> Oi. Oh. The hardest bit is the, this straight coming back. Oh. Yes, Neil. I need to clear them a bit better. Yeah. The scariest thing is that quarter, actually. If you can't nail that, you can't I get the strike in before the quarter. Yeah. Yes, pumping. Now this is a perfect example in a skate park where you can master the pumping technique. And that's basically pumping up a transition by pushing the bike in and up and over it. So you can gain momentum, you can gain speed. Also, if you start to slow down, you can use such undulations like this in the trail to keep your speed, to keep your momentum through the, through the trail without even pedaling, which is it's pretty good, but it is tiring at the end of the day, but it is good fun. So when you're, when you're approaching an obstacle like this, you're basically gonna push up into it, forcing down the bike up into it, getting all lightweight, and then again, letting the bike come up into you and doing it again. You can actually get up this without pedaling. Coming down is even better, because you can just push down each transition by pushing your legs down on the bike, and you can gain a lot more speed. And I'll show you an example of me going down and me going up without pedaling. Now, when you've mastered the technique of pumping on something a little bit smaller, then you can advance to something a little bit bigger and a little bit more flowy because in a bowl, you can gain a hell of a lot of speed and you can use all the all these walls to gain more speed going up and pumping down, and you can get air as well. Um, I'm going to demonstrate a few lines in this bowl. But one thing I like to point out, bowls to me are quite scary, but they are fun to ride. fun, but scary, so you get a lot of speed, and it can go one way or the other. So there we have it, some skate park content for you beautiful people out there on GMBN. Hopefully you enjoyed that, and uh, to be honest, skate parks are a little bit intimidating at first, but when you're here and you're warmed up and you get used to it, there are a lot of fun to have in a skate park. You can learn so much, all your skills, you can learn to be smooth and all that rad jazz. Let me know if you want to see more content at a skate park because, hey man, it's the winter months and it's raining outside. It's in here, it's nice and dry and warm. And we can have some fun. Let us know in the comments down below. Give us a thumbs up like, and I'll see you next time. I'm going to go and actually ride them boxes again because they're super fun. See ya.